glimmering up for what should be a terrific start for our evening's entertainment is Danny Collins, one of Britain's truly brightest stars. At the age of 18, he won the European Waterweight title. Great physique, great skill, no wonder he's got such a big fan club, particularly around his hometown of Bristol. He's absolutely devoted to his sport and as brave as they come. And tonight he's going to need all his skill and all his bravery because he's stepping up two weight divisions, taking a rough, tough boy over the real mean streak. It is, of course, the British heavy middleweight champion from Carrick Fergus, Northern Ireland, Dave Fitzfinley. And as always, aided and abetted by his manager and mentor, the striking Princess Paula. Wait a minute, Mr. McManus. You go down this corridor and you tell Danny Collins to leave this building immediately before I get my hands on him because I'm going to rip him apart. Well, we'll soon find out. Personally, I think Danny Boy's got a lot more going for him than people give him credit for. And when it comes to popularity, there's only one winner. I'm sure my fellow commentator, Lee Bamber, will confirm this. Ladies and gentlemen, our special challenge contest. Will you welcome into the ring, Danny Boy Collins! <laughs> Yes, Mick, just listen to that crescendo of a welcome for the fair to all in Croydon. 1,000 people packed in to welcome Danny Boy Collins. Making his way to the ring. A super night in store here. It's like a, a Roman amphitheatre about the Christians and about the lions. Ladies and gentlemen, will you welcome into the ring, Fitz Finley and Princess Paula! Well, Mick McManus has just popped back from the dressing room. Welcome back, Mick. Thank you, Lee. What about this contest? Oh, this is going to be an absolute crack. It's going to be a cool one. You've got Danny Collins, everybody's favourite, the blue-eyed boy, skillful, good-looking, athletic. On the other side, you've got a rough, tough boy over from Ireland, uh, Finley, always prepared to take un any unfair advantage over his opponent. Breaks the rules, bends the rules, and of course he's got Aiden in effect, as I said before, by the Princess Paula, who's not there just to, not just with a pretty face, she's there really to help him out in every way, shape and form. So now let's get this contest underway with your MC for the tournament in Watersville, Berries and Edmonds, Neil Fan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a special challenge contest of six three-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions or one knockout will decide the winner. Introducing in the red corner, recently voted the country's most popular wrestler, the British and European welterweight champion, Danny Boy Collins! Ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, presented as always by the Queen of the Ring, wrestling's first lady, the exotic Princess Paula. The British heavy middleweight champion, the Belfast Bruiser, Superman Dave Vic Finley. Your third man for this challenge contest, Mr. Roger Brown. Thank you, Neil Sam. Roger Brown from Bristol, the referee for this contest. And he's not going to have an easy task ahead of him either. He's got to control Danny Collins, Pitt Finley, and also... Second way, round one. He's got to control Princess Paula, never well, an easy task. She's already just poked him in the eye, I think, young Danny. I don't know. Uh, Pitt Finley argumentative with the referee already. He's not too complimentary about his opponent either. I travel all over the world fighting big, big men. I beat big men. How can you send a little boy in to wrestle a monster like me? Well, typical remark from the big head, I should think. And Julie, as modest as always, Pip Finley. Very modest man. So there he is from Carrick Fergus, Pip Finley. The British heavy middleweight champion. 13 stone, 5 pounds for Finley right on the limit two stone heavier than danny collins 11 stone three pounds danny that's two pounds inside the welterweight limit finley in charge already with a side headlock well 
Well, he's got a good solid headlock on there. No, no doubt about that. What we have here is the power and weight of Pitt Finley against the speed and agility of Danny Collins. Mind you, the weight won't matter much at all, really. Not, not, not uh, in the early stages, you won't notice it. Two stone, it, it sounds a lot, but it's not really not, uh, not when you're fitting well like these legs. This block to Finley. Threatening the back elbow. <laughs> Finley doesn't like that. Well, he went up easy enough there. Yeah, that's right. 13 and a half stone on the shoulders of Danny Collins. And a little bit of eye work there from uh, this side of the arena. Referee Roger Brown doesn't see it. Just under the minute to go there in this first round. Oh, nice upstart. Nice up well, you heard what Dick Finley had to say about Danny Collins. Let's see what Danny has to remark about his opponent. So, Finley thinks he's a monster. Well, there's a lot bigger men than him bit that does. Let's see what happens when it comes down to skill. Well, I'll go along with that. No more skillful than uh, young Danny, that's for sure. He's heard. Who would have thought when you're watching Danny Collins in action here that just last year he was in a hospital in Leeds with a kidney complaint. He had a kidney removed. A lot of people thought he'd never wrestle again, let alone about being in action like this. And it, what a comeback. Yeah, terrific. I think to his credit, you know, he worked really, really hard. You can see the scar now. You see the big scar on the side? Yes. on the right-hand side That's there. It. Yeah, he worked very hard, trained like mad, and uh, absolutely dedicated to this. And loves it, loves it. 24-hour day job, this, for young Danny. The doctors and physiotherapists said that your career is over, Danny, but, well, he's really proved them wrong. Bless him better than ever. Second way, round two. <laughs> Had a kiss. To Paula, wrestling's best known Mr. and Mrs. Dave Finley, Paula Valdez, she used to be known as. Lady wrestler of note, she's still wrestling. But more often than not, accompanies Dave Finley around the country as his mentor and manager. Does a very good job as well, Mick. She, oh, yeah, she, she's not just, uh, just there to make the number up. She, uh, she really knows the business, no, no doubt about that. In fact, sometimes I think she knows more about wrestling than some of the wrestling. Roger Brown from Bristol, shouting match with Dave Finley, telling him to stand back. No doubt in the intentions of the referee. Oh, a great body check. And another one. Well, he really went up near that time. He must have gone up about 10 or 12 feet there. Oh, and that back knee drop to the throat. And <laughs> he goes out of the ring. Danny celebrates with a backward somersault. Meanwhile, the count goes on. Is he going to make it by 10? Six, seven. Well, Danny has his own way of bringing Finley back in. Just the count of two. A little bit too strong there, I think, for me. Uh, a little bit too early to get to nothing like that. Oh, Good yeah. move, great move. Always addresses Fit Finley. Superb amateur record for the Carrot Burgers Club. 14 years of the Carrot Burgers Club. Now, this is a story for time, this day. A little bit of distraction, a little bit of distraction. It gives Finley a breather. And that looks a bit dodgy from our side, Nick. Yep, the referee didn't spot it, or did he? I'm not too sure. Uh, the referee he spotted that one, all right. The referee can't be everywhere. There's four sides to a wrestling ring, the fans on all four sides. The poor referee has a very difficult job in any country. See, I think I'll go to the rest a few hard times over the years. It's not an easy job at all. And you see Finley taking that corner pad down, and that is very illegal. Oh! But also, it'd be very, very dangerous as well. Pure metal hooks there. 
And Roger Brown gives him the warning, I think. Well, that's his first warning, so he's got to go careful for him. He's going to have all the First warning for Finlay. And Danny Collins reversing it. A touch of your own medicine, and the bell's on, but that's <laughs> well. Fair enough. Well, Fair enough. Time. I don't think anyone's going to argue with that, though. A little bit of retaliation from this superstar from Bristol. Fair enough. There's only one man who knows how much that hurt, and there he is on the canvas now. Being attended to by Paula. Look at this is her on her face. Get up, she says. I think you're doing it. This is way round three. Once again, there you go. Still winning again for time. Giving him, giving him a little bit of rest, a little bit of rest back. Of course, Mick, if she doesn't get out the ring when the referee uh, says so, she could get a public warning on behalf of her man. And there was a distraction, you see. Yeah. Collins is you know who to look at, but look at her or Finley, and they the wrong one. They work as a team. They're not, they work as almost like a tag team, don't they? And that knee comes up straight to the forehead of Danny Collins, one of Finley's specialities. He's learned a lot of tricks since he's amateur days. Turned pro in 1979. Oh, great slam. Uh, cover. And he's got it. Oh, yeah. Also, too, he got a bit of extra, extra purchase there. He's being grabbed the trunk and pull up. I don't think Roger Brown saw it, but uh, he certainly did. All the tricks of the trail. And there he is, standing over his pill like a lion. He's mine, he said. He's mine. Neil Sands to announce it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in 45 seconds of the third round, with a power slam and cross press, the first ball to Fitz Finley! And that's what the crowd think about it. Finley one up. Second way, round five. So round five it is, Finley one ahead. Danny Collins has got it all out to do now. Good night, Vienna. He's out, out he goes. the ring, he's out the ring. Finley following him. Well, there's no point in putting the full Nelson outside the ring, he won't. Oh! And Paula comes along with a slap right to his, her own man. I'm sorry, she says. It's too late now. I call that poetic justice. Revenge is sweet when it happens like that, Mick. Oh, a great monkey guy. Oh, what a... And he's covering... If he can hold him, if he can hold him. He's got it. Great ball. Terrific ball. Marvellous. Great acrobatic ball. Superb gymnastics from Danny Collins. Super fit athlete. He really is. And Paul is going to have something Ladies to say about that. Ladies and gentlemen, in 45 seconds of round five, with a somersault, a backdrop and cross press, the equalising ball, Danny Boy Collins! Well, let's see this replay. I think it's going to be terrific. There he goes. Backflip. Over the top and a dive on. Lovely, lovely weight distribution. No chance of getting up there. No chance at all. Great ball for Danny. So it's one each, and this is the last round. Hosting early for Christmas. And he felt that. Danny Collins voted the most popular wrestler in 1988. A poll conducted by the fans of British wrestling. Attacking the man outside the ring, Mick. Not allowed. Second all Yeah. Out. Oh, that's a good one foot. Yeah. Good drop kick. Right on the whistle. Well, who's come out the worst there? They're both down. Six. Seven. Oh. Oh, they're both up. Find oh, the this power could be driver. a power. It could be a power driver. And Danny's going to struggle to Finley's two stone heavier than him. 
Yeah, and of course he's holding his knees as well, you see, so he's got him slightly off balance. It's... Now, did you see that? Yes, a push Paula. from Paula. The hand came over. Referee Roger Brown asked, and he's got it. He never saw it. He never saw that at all, Roger. But that was a definite push. I think if we if we see this in slow motion, we can see that uh, the crowd here more obvious. in Croydon are going berserk. There's a thousand people packed into the Fairfield Hall. They saw it. We saw it at ringside. But poor old Roger Brown, the referee, in fairness to him, he was under unsighted. Yeah, Let's I think what your fans have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, in one minute fifty-five seconds of the sixth round, with a cross press the winning ball to Dave Fit Finley. Yes, yeah, Finley's got it. Let's see it again, Nick. Well, there it is. Got him in the air. Staggering a little bit. There's the arm. There's the arm. Back he goes. Finley's got the 13 and a half stone all nicely spread it over the top of poor Danny. He's not going to make that at all. The score that broke the camel back. Finley the winner.